Good morning. I'm Richard Tafe, the president here at Dabney Lancaster Community College, and it's my pleasure to welcome our colleagues from the George Washington University, everyone from DSLCC, and our invited guests. We are so very pleased to have the Virginia Secretary of Education here with us, the Honorable Laura Fornash, and she will be speaking a little later this morning. Cree Deeds uh, was trying to get here, he was unable to, but I certainly want, want to acknowledge him. He is also a very strong supporter of a higher education, Dabney Lancaster Community College in particular. This really is a big deal. Uh, I had to watch my words there. I didn't know if any of you remember the Vice President of the United States talking about a really big deal a few months ago, but I'm not going to quote him, but, <laughs> but this is a big deal. <laughs> this is the development of a model that can be used throughout Virginia. But this is the first offering of this model here at Dabney Lancaster Community College. It's a collaboration among George Washington University, Shenandoah University, and Dabney Lancaster Community College. We all know that there's a shortage of nurses uh, in Virginia, locally, and nationally, and this is not likely to improve. And having an opportunity now for RNs to go on and get their baccalaureate degree and their master's degree by staying in their home area is really a plus for the students and for all of us who live in the area. And this model, because it will be replicated eventually around the state, is a real win for the Commonwealth of Virginia as well. I want to express my appreciation to all of the administration and the faculty from the George Washington University. They worked very hard with our folks here at Dabney Lancaster, Anne and your staff. I want to thank you also for bringing this program to fruition. One of my favorite quotes is by the English playwright and author, John Galsworthy. And Galsworthy once said, if you do not think about your future, you do not have one. Well, I want to thank all of these folks for thinking about the future of this area and about the future of the Commonwealth of Virginia when it comes to nursing education. So I want to thank you very much. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Jean Johnson. Dr. Johnson is responsible for leading all the aspects of the School of Nursing at the George Washington University. She has led the expansion of the health science programs from a small enrollment to now nearly 1,000 students, and she's also added many important programs. Dr. Johnson has been highly involved in quality improvement in nursing and is a senior consultant on the Nursing Alliance for Quality Care. Her current research shows a commitment to improving the quality of nursing care, including research on nurse staffing levels and quality outcomes in nursing facilities, the evaluation of consumer perceptions of nursing, and the impact of health policy on nursing in this country and beyond. Dean Johnson. It is a real pleasure to be here this morning. Um, and every trip to um, Dabney S. Lancaster has been meaningful and important. Um, I'd really like to thank everyone who's here today. And I would like to give special, special thanks to, you know, certainly Dr. Tafe um, and Ann May, who directs the nursing program here. Um, without either one of these folks, this partnership would not happen. And I would also like to thank Lorraine Voles from George Washington University, who is the Vice President for External Affairs and has provided just huge support for a large group of us to be here. And also um, Ali Eskadarian, who is the Dean for the College of Professional Studies and the Virginia um, Science and Technology Campus. And he has provided just incredible support also. Um, I've been asked a lot, how did this partnership come about? You know, and I would say, it's about timing. You know, timing is often everything. You can have these great ideas and nothing happens because it is not the right time. But we have huge primary care needs in this country. We have just had um, fairly recently the release of the Institute of Medicine report you know, on the future of nursing, advancing health, you know, in this country that really calls for, you know, advanced education for nurses. 
And then we also have the magnet hospitals of which this area is fortunate in having at least two magnet hospitals in that will be requiring their nursing staff to have a BSN, 80% of nursing staff to have a BSN. So the timing is right. A lot of things are coming together. And so we have you know, certainly um, a wonderful opportunity. When um, Ellen Dawson, the Senior Associate Dean for um, the School of Nursing, um, and myself and Rana Halbevox had come down to meet with the faculty of the School of Nursing, it took us about one hour to figure out how we were going to create programs. And we created a family nurse practitioner program, and now more recently a, nurse, a certified nurse midwifery program in collaboration with Shenandoah University. So it takes partnerships to really accomplish what you want to accomplish. And through the partnership, you know, we can provide both access to on-campus courses in people's home community, as well as online courses where people can then do their clinical work in their home community and people do not have to leave this area. So this is a very special partnership and we thank the leadership of Dabneus Lancaster and um, we're looking forward to further um, activities. You know, we'll get these programs mounted and then we'll see what else it is that we'll be doing together. So now I would like to introduce Mark Hepler, one of the students in the School of Nursing. And Mark comes to nursing um, having a degree in um, informatics. And um, he has decided that his future lies with nursing and um, I think that we're all really excited about that. So Mark. Hi, good morning. Um, Dr. Tafe pretty much stole my speech. So. <laughs> uh, my name is Mark Hepler. Uh, I'm the representative of our nursing program here at Dabney, class of 2013, who's pretty well represented here. Um, and the creation of this undergraduate and graduate program through GW is, is a big deal. Uh, it's a big deal to me because I'm starting over my career with aspirations of pursuing a master's. And it's a big deal to this community and this college because it validates the program of study here that has traditionally been second to none. Uh, it gives, also gives many local professional nurses the opportunity to further their education and to keep up with the ever-changing field of nursing. Uh, but the reason I'm here today is that we have a very special guest to help usher in this new day. Uh, a Chesterfield, Virginia native, she graduated from the public school system in Virginia and received her under, undergraduate and graduate degrees from Virginia Tech. She then spent 20 years working with Tech in student affairs, continuing education, distance learning, and most recently as the director of state government relations. Um, she's also no stranger to creating successful web-based graduate degree programs. In 1998, while serving as Director of Information Technology, she initiated such a program to help transition working professionals into the IT arena. Um, today, she serves as a member of Governor Bob McDonald's cabinet and provides guidance to Virginia's 16 public institutions, public universities, and the community college system. Uh, no one in the state has more influence or authority in post-secondary education. So without further delay, it's my honor to introduce to you Virginia Secretary of Education, Mrs. Laura Fornash. Well, thank you, Mark, for that kind introduction, but I, I must clarify, I'm not sure I have the most influence <laughs> in K-12 and, and higher education, but I, I appreciate the, the kind introduction. And I do want to congratulate you on your accomplishments in the class of 2013 taking on this challenge. This is, is tremendous uh, for you personally and for this community. So congratulations to you. 
Good morning, everyone. I am pleased to be here on behalf of Governor Bob McDonald to kick off this important partnership. I'd also like to recognize Senator Cree Deeds. I understand he hasn't shown up, but I do want to echo the comments earlier and say that he has been a tremendous advocate for education in this region as well as throughout the state. Last year, you may remember the governor's top jobs legislation passed unanimously, setting a goal of an additional 100,000 new associate and bachelor's degrees over the next 15 years. This goal to award more degrees is about raising the educational attainment level for Virginians. Right now, 42% of our citizens have an associate or bachelor's degree, and we want to raise that to 55%. And this program goes a long way to helping us achieve those goals. You may also be aware that the governor's budget that he introduced in December contained over $200 million to help make higher education access and affordability easier for the students in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And I'm pleased to say that that program not only benefits the community college system in Dabney Lancaster, but also George Washington through our TAG grant program. And I'm really excited because this program is going to complement that initiative as well. We believe that these additional 100,000 degrees must be focused on high demand, high income jobs of the 21st century and should be concentrated in the areas of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and healthcare. This innovative public-private partnership between George Washington University and Dabney S. Lancaster Community College directly address Governor McDonald's call for more Virginians earning degrees in high demand fields. Additionally, the challenge of providing adequate health care in rural areas remains due to the lack of convenient access to educational programs. Ensuring underserved communities receive the medical care they need is important to the health of our communities as well as to the entire Commonwealth of Virginia. This partnership seeks to address these challenges and represents a firm commitment from the two schools of excellence. This innovation innovative partnership incorporates distance learning and service to this community and will serve as a model for the rest of the Commonwealth as well as the nation. We must find more ways to expand educational opportunities to the rural areas of our state. We know technology is an important tool to expanding this access and it is exciting to see how you have embraced technology to provide a student a path to earn an associate's degree and ultimately a master's degree without leaving this region. I commend George Washington University and Dabney S. Lancaster Community College for developing an opportunity for students to earn degrees in their home communities so that they can educate and retain healthcare professionals in an area where critical need is has been identified and I also want to say congratulations to the faculty and staff of both institutions because I know without each of you rolling up your sleeves getting creative that this would not be able to be accomplished today and so I just want to say a personal thank you to the faculty the administration for making it possible I also commend the local industry partners for developing this innovative partnership to help meet the needs of the community because it's not just about the educational community, it's also about the business community being supportive and participating. So thank you as well for that participation. I know we are all proud of today's signing of this memorandum of understanding and for the creativity that these two institutions have demonstrated in developing this program. I'm very excited to be a part of today's signing as this truly is what Governor Bob McDonald envisioned when he created the top jobs legislation and called for an additional 100,000 degrees. So thank you again for having me here today. It's a special day for the Commonwealth. Secretary Fornash, Fornash, thanks so much for being here today. I know it, uh, it's a trip to get here from uh, Richmond, but we appreciate you being here and honoring us with your, your presence. At this time, we'll have the signing ceremony. Um, Secretary, if you would join us, uh, folks from George Washington and Dabney Lancaster down here. After the signing ceremony, please stick around in the lobby. We have some refreshments out there, so please join us and uh, have a chance to uh, chat and meet folks from George Washington University.
Okay, thank you everyone for coming.